the coyote was always by himself, and he was always uh, wandering around. And this one day, he was along the Spokane River, and he was jumping around and having fun and, and looking, and all of a sudden, he, he saw a camp. There was smoke coming out of this big Indian camp, and there was people laughing and singing and and so he was across the river and he looked over and he saw a group of women that was cleaning fish some of them were cleaning fish and preparing to to smoke it and and to dry it and there was others that were uh, washing clothes and these were the ones that were singing these, these were the ones that were having fun and and he looked at them, and he was just going to leave, and he looks, and there's one of one girl that stands out. Oh, boy, she's beautiful. Gosh, I, I want that girl. He said, but what can I do? How can I get her? So he starts thinking about it, and then the, they all go back into the camp. So he thought, well, the only thing to do is to go to her father. So he goes into the camp, and the and the Indians look at him. Hey, look, there's a coyote. What's he doing? So he asks about the girl and and who her father is. And he found out that the father was the chief, chief of the Coeur d'Alene people. So he goes up to the chief and he said, "I saw your daughter uh, in the river today." and I want to marry her. The chief looked down at him and he said, oh, what, what did you say? He says, I want to marry your daughter. And the chief started to laugh. <laughs> he says, you can't do that. You, you're a coyote and she's a human. You can't marry her. He says, but she's beautiful and I want her. And uh, the chief said, no, no, you can't. He said, anyway, when you, when I do let my go, daughter go, uh, you will have to bring me things, and you will have to be a great warrior. You will have to prove yourself in battle and and to help to others. And he says, you don't do that. He says, no. So the coyote leaves, and then he thought, Kalispells are good friends of the Cornline people. So he goes up there to the to the Kalispells, and he tells the chief the same thing. I want to marry that girl, and I want you to help me get her. And the Kalispell chief started to laugh. <laughs> and again, he was chased out of camp, and, and he was ashamed, but he still was determined. So he went to the Spokane tribe, and the same thing happened. They laughed at him and threw rocks at him and sticks and then chased him out of the camp. Then he went to the Colville's, the same thing happened. And so he finally came back to the court lane, and then he used his magic powers, and he moved big rocks and dirt, and he put it into the river. And he saw the salmon coming up, but they couldn't go over the, the uh, dam that he made like, like a dam. And so he, he stopped the water from coming down, and then the water finally filled up, and it came over anyway. And then he went over to the chief, and he says, I am going to leave that the way it is. No more salmon coming up until you change your mind. And when you change your mind, you let me know, and I will come and get the girl. And the chief said, no way, it's, it's impossible. You, you can't have my daughter. You can't marry a human.